Hi, this is Renee. I'm an Ed Hub coach. Um, the next activity is ordinal. No, um, sorry, place value. I just did ordinal numbers. Okay, so I would use the best thing to use is straws for this. I would stay away from hundreds for a while, just use tens and ones. What I would do is take out all the markers and count them one and have the child put them in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. When you get to ten, go time to stop. When we get to a ten, time to stop. Take a rubber band and rubber band um, the straws together and say a group of ten. Then you could go over, what would 11 be? It would be a group of 10 and one. What would 12 be? A group of 10 and two. Go all the way to 20. That would be two groups of 10. Practice counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I would start up to 50 and then go 50 to 100. And children love clapping and chanting and counting by tens. And you can also teach counting by fives. And that'll help with money with counting nickels. Okay, so that is the first thing. The second thing is to use beans and napkins. Put 10 napkins on the kitchen table. Count 10 beans for each napkin. And then... Uh, count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up to 100. Um, you, you could do it like that for counting by tens. When, if you want to do place value with that, you can get a piece of bread. And every time you get to 10, you, every time you have 10 beans, you could exchange it for a piece of bread and the bread is worth 10. And then you could count by 10, you could show how the 10 beans equals one ten of, which is the bread. Uh, another thing, as I said, going over 11 to 20 and how we make that, I would show it with straws or uh, co little coffee stirrers or anything like that. Uh, show every time you make 10, you're going to rubber band it and it's going to be one group of 10. And so 13 would be one 10 and three ones. 15 would be one 10 and five ones. You could get chips at the dollar store, um, little um, like checkers or poker chips. The whites are ones, the blues are tens and Reds could be a hundred when you get up to that. So you could count 10 white chips. Up, oh, we got to 10. Take that 10 and put it in a Ziploc bag. Let's get a blue chip. That equals the same thing. One blue is a 10. Then count another 10 and exchange it for a blue chip. 20. So now we have 10 and 10, 20. So you're showing that every time you get to 10, you're going to exchange for a different color chip. Okay, so that is, those are my ideas in place value and it's really good with the hands-on. And if you don't have a shoe pocket chart, you can use, um, you can use Ziploc bags, like one bit bag you could label ones, you could glue a um, index card on that says ones, tens, and hundreds. Have a wonderful day.